what's up guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel i'm eccentric rockstar seat and i have another message for you keep in mind take what resonates leave what does not don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm not done shuffling but i got some stuff laid out already um i'm gonna here red jade red jasper so red jasper is about justice strength and stability and it works closely with your base chakras and it heals any wounds surrounding injustice, grounding you back to earth. And it alleviates chronic worrying, clearing mental blockages to make space for balanced emotions and thoughts. Working with the base chakra, this stone can also help heal issues related to sex. Okay. I just heard <laughs> somebody say me and sex are not strangers. Inviting you to explore your sexuality in healthy ways. That means if you, masturbation is not a disconnection with sex. That's still sex, y'all. Providing stability and protection. This balances the your yin and your yang energy. So expressing masculine and feminine energies that feel safe yet nourished, like you're completely attentive to your energy. If this resonates, your Mars could be in either Aries or Scorpio. Super freak. It's like little red touches in, in my cards is what I noticed. Then you got uh, red jade. That's warrior, individual, individuality, chai. You're about to unleash your inner warrior because this is a stone of power. It's able to release anger in constructive ways that solves problems. Filled with chi, like tai chi, known as life force in Chinese cultures. And it enhances passion, vitality, and strength take action and move decisively it enhances your courage protecting and inspiring you as you move forward in your day-to-day -day life and when you're looking to have exponential i'm sorry exponential results whether it's with your finances your business or with your physical health you know it's a, this is a good amplifier this resonates your venus is in aries pretty so this is what i got i got the wounded healer you see how she has a red rose in that picture then i have the cosmic prince that beautiful peacock picture and you have speak okay take center stage speak at events conferences workshops share your message transform lives through your work and then i'm higher if you're feeling overwhelmed with a never-ending to-do list i'll switch your mundane business tasks to a virtual support get get support someone hired you to help them out in their affairs and it unleashed it untapped inner potential it they just i see the the part in the richard prior um film jojo dancer which is really about the story about his own personal life and he went out there on comedy he went out there on stage and that's where he unleashed a lot of his pain and you know, troubled childhood, even though his grandmother raised him and his father raised him, but his mother um, was, a, was a prostitute and it, it, it kind of scorned his father that she turned out to be a prostitute and she didn't raise her own son. So her father, his father and grandmother raised him. He got the love from his grandmother and the tough, um, the tough love or tough exterior from his father, but he, if you think about Richard Pryor, he's like very sensitive, very empathic, you know. I love Richard Pryor, he's my favorite comedian. Him and Eddie Murphy, and it's just ironic because they had a very close relationship when Richard Pryor was alive. So they were like spiritually connected or something, but. And it's a few other um, comedians that I like like that, like Red Fox. But uh, Richard Pryor came to my mind specifically because that's his, that was his outlet. He's naturally funny. He's very, you know, animated, like in his enthusiasm, he makes the faces and he's like, he draws you in. Then you got be a body. You didn't know? Your brain is your body and your body is your brain. To process your emotions from des desirous longing to heartbreak. You must get present in your body. That means finding your center of gravity, trusting your breath to nourish you and feeling all your sensations. Research somatic centering practices to guide you. Somebody could be a psychic and they receive downloads through body sensations. Like somatic, experiencing somatic psychic, um, psychic abilities. So your action is the, where do, where do these sensations stem from? Like 
Where, when did you first feel them? What are they trying to take care of? In what ways are they hindering you? It's by feeling and interrogating your physical sensations that you can understand both the depth of your social conditioning and your well, uh, your well of potential to reshape this conditioning in the name of pleasure. And then you're exploring because you have the adventure card. You see a little red dot back there. Somebody is getting their passport or renew needs to renew their passport because they got places to go and people to see. Okay, and this is what I'm talking about, where you're you're hired to help somebody out and you're called to travel to places, you're gonna need your passport. The sacred waters. Nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, self-care. I think this is a this is the point that you you're rejuvenated. Jupiter and Sagittarius. You've been rejuvenated and now it's time to really make it do what it do. You gotta embody in a different attitude because and the, psych the psychology is it takes courage to pursue your dreams. It takes courage to be who you are, to do what feels right. It takes courage to face the fears that have the power to hold you back. You know, be brave and the world is yours. The world literally with the adventure card. I see you traveling, you know, so it's, you're working for somebody, but you end up working with them because you untap, you're tapping into something they've been looking for. Like you may have been called to help them out with like little minor things in their business. Mass communications specifically, you could have been called to help them with marketing or something like that, only for them to find out you're exactly what they're looking for. Then you have come to me. Manifestation is a process of selection rather than literal magnetism. That means co-creating your reality with God, picking your timeline and what happens therein with every choice you make. Simply wanting certain types of relationships isn't enough to call them in. We're self-determined and autonomous. Beings. I'm pretty sure I chopped that word down a little bit. We can do better than wanting a, wanting alone. So just wanting. Somebody is confused with how the manifestation process works. The action is from a place of cosmic power and agency. Decide, then work on a deep subconscious level to truly accept your decision by understanding your worth and deservings of priority. A priority. There's nothing wrong when a little come to me language when manifesting lovers. But remember, you're really coming to them. So to step wisely and create affirmations that affirm your agency. What I'm what is trying to say, and then you have transition. Transition. That's my, my death card, like the tarot deck, my transition. And then you got a rose without thorns. Okay, you have the right to your joy, peace, sweetness to life. Hold on, putting it together. And then the psychology behind that is we're offered advice from all directions on how to best live our lives. The best way for you is to choose yourself again and again every morning. So every time you wake up, you start loving on yourself. Okay, you got to have you transition into someone who set firm boundaries. So you stop screwing on having sex with meaningless connections or having sex or trying to connect with people through meaningless connections and start loving on yourself you're transitioning into your inner warrior your lilith lilith sign could be virgo or aquarius okay a rose without thorns is like being all sweet with no boundaries get some bite okay you have the right to take a stand for what you want Hold on. Okay, you're starting to manifest stuff. You're starting to take action. You want to be that inner warrior, that that self-loving, inner confident woman, that queen of wands energy, actually that king of wands energy, when you're taking action like that with what you want and you mean business. This is king of wands energy. You're taking, you're taking accountability over yourself. You're getting some backbone. You're setting some boundaries. Okay. You stop waiting for it. You stop being in that receptive energy. 
Then you got, lastly, we are lovers. We are the lovers. Why should our reverence and romance be reserved for our sexual partners? Is a question. Again, why should our reverence and romance be reserved for our sexual partners? This is a call to reignite a love affair with the other precious people in your life, your friends. One of our greatest gifts we'll ever receive is a chance to form chosen families. And yet, these ties are often first to be broken when an admirer comes along. What I say about those meaningless connections? New beginnings new beginnings this is a new a new phase in life a new version of yourself a new chapter of you a different side to you okay and you got trust the seasons okay embrace change cycle cycles of life transition and growth i really didn't think that i didn't know that carp was going to say all of that but again with the red roses okay root chakra base chakra root chakra the psychology behind that is whenever life throws obstacles in your way and things don't go as planned accept them and say thank you i'm ready to the i'm ready for the lessons this alternative path will teach me i trust these lessons are valuable for my dreams to come true you were trying to manifest a new beginning with someone and it backfired because it wasn't working but you were like confused about how the manifestation process worked you're making the effort yourself okay you want the you want the top spot you got to take it as they say, was this the one that was flipped over? Yeah, you're alive, that's why. You know, to experience hurt and loss is to become more wise. Nothing good ever came from playing it safe, whereas risk may contain injury, but it also contains every imaginable treasure. So dare yourself to do something major. It's by moving through pain rather than bypassing it that we come face to face with pleasure. And that goes for life as much as it does kink. So the action is because life's heartbreak, hearts, because life's heartbreaks will come whether you welcome them or not, you may as well invite them in and accept their gifts because it would be rude not to. So to feel pain is to know that you are alive and what a gift that is to know that you're alive. What a time to be alive. And then you got morning dew. Clarity, a fresh start, like new beginnings, a positive outlook. So instead of looking at, you know, re Renaissance, then you have Renaissance. You see that? I get Ill I get inspiration through looking at the pictures and stuff. You want this holy sacrimony? You could have left a marriage for some that was lifeless, no passion. You know what I mean? So no passion means no climax. The climax makes for a very frustrated wife and a dull man. You know, he's sexually frustrated. He went out there and earned the millions, though. But she's still at home trying to connect with herself, and she's struggling. That's what I think the overall energy surrounds this, this illustration right here. You know, it's like, I did everything right. What am I doing wrong? As I just explained, all these this, this passion that you're connecting, you're learning how to connect with yourself. So this wife, bored. You know, can't sexually frustrate it. She goes and accepts an, a position to go help somebody overseas. So she could be, I feel like Europe, and she goes to a different part of Europe. She goes to Spain somewhere. Maybe she's from Italy and goes to Spain, hypothetically speaking, just go with it. And through that frustration, you know, she tapped into a lot of potential. You know, she, she didn't know she had those talents about herself. Now I want to like move these cards out the way. Uh oh. How come when I want to talk, the battery wants to die? I want all these cards out the way. Matter of fact, no, I don't. I don't have time. Because my battery's about to die. Let's just go with it. We're going to go right to the tarot. And it, 
take it how it resonates. You don't have to be a wife. You could just be somebody that's bored in life with what you're doing. There's no passion in what you're doing anymore. Or you lost the passion for what you do. Go with it. But whoever you are, King of Wands is Leo energy. And I just read something along the lines of all the stuff I just read and just connected with. Confirm, it confirms. What is it? Oh, you're alive. All these cards... Talk about loving yourself. Talk about loving yourself. That's what that's about. We are the lovers. That might be the, the, the name of this read. The wounded healer. So, the lovers, the overall energy. It speaks about choices, but I don't think it's a lover in particular. It's about being one, taking one mask to your conglomerate versus taking a different path of being your full authentic self look what's on the bottom that's what you should be focused on okay so you got the lovers so what's in the challenging position ace take this opportunity to love on yourself more what's your strength take a stand for yourself walk away i'm gonna just be the bigger person and walk away <laughs> walk away Remember that from um scary movie? Cause he was hit, so he was teasing the man that, that was in the wheelchair. See, I knew I wanted to move these cards over. What you should be focused on is new beginnings. Is the potential that this opportunity has to offer. These are major arcanas. And the, the one minor arcana is you walking towards it. What you're leaving in the past. Being no passion. Queen of Swords is as icy as they come. What's your potential future? Tapping into un tapping into potential. That you, what do I want to say? Unlocking untapped potential. Something like that. How you feel about yourself? You've been hanging in there with the nine of wands. You know, you've been putting up the good fight, but now it's time to really you went after what you want up this far, okay? But if you make it to a 10 like this, what's going to end up happening is you're going to be burdened with boredom. And you're going to really be a bitch. Like the Queen of Swords would be in reverse. Instead of the warrior who fights for what she wants. Don't be blocking what's ordained for you. What's the environmental attitude? Fear. The devil card talks about fear, negative thinking. But you're such an influence with all this red. You see in the, in the nine of wands, she has an orange red. You know, this is fire. This is passion. It's like you equate passion with the devil or something like that. Or you was trying to be something that you thought you you thought you were supposed to be in society. And it just turned you cold. Yuck, we're leaving that in the past. You've been doing that a while. Your hopes and fears. All right, you be shunned by popular belief, but so what? You're not going to please everybody, but instead of you taking accountability, though, because the final analysis is the King of Swords. Very wise, you know, mentally sharp, public speaking. See, when you're true to yourself, Look at that air energy, double air energy, creative communication. It's like when you start off, it's gonna be a little stiff, but when you tap into your authenticity, it's like all that shit you 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 keep locked inside of you. You keep locked inside of you, you're gonna unleash it. And that's where that is where the person who hired you, whoever you went to work for. Like the red jade and the red jasper? Mm-hmm. Speaking, you got this. You got this. You were hired to do something and you did more than that. You delivered. That's an opportunity. You try to talk yourself out of it. That's why the ace of cups is in a challenging position. Okay? You you got something to say with the wounded healer here. Okay? Cause you you make it look you make it look good. Like you make the the quirkiest stuff 
where the scariest stuff or the coldest stuff look vibrant and full of life, but that's authentically you, not the queen of swords. You're nobody's victim. You gotta go do that shit. What are you waiting for? Huh? And, not, and it's funny how your strength and what you should be focused on is they all going in the same direction. A rose without thorns, you know, that's that's too sweet. You want to get some balls. Go do it. Do it. I like the prince, the cosmic prince with the lover's card as well because it's real, it's real colorful. Like, look at that. When you put that together, it's very pretty. So what's the last minute messages? A big reveal, the tower moment is the is you shocking yourself. Once you get on that stage, you feel more alive than ever. You talking about be alive? Where that card at? You are alive. That that's it. Like you was just existing before. Now you're doing a damn thing. This is the big reveal. Is that that nine of wands turns into a ten of cups instantly? Everybody's gonna praise you. You know you're gonna be real praiseworthy. You know, and it's going to be awesome. It's a cycle complete, new beginning, global success. Like, you're going to continue doing it. It gives me Josephine Baker vibes, how she traveled to get what she want. Okay? Okay, we're going to put that Ten of Cups right there. Start, start the new journey. Going from the Fool to the Lovers to the Tower. What else? Yeah, you connected to your higher self. Now that's that's the ultimate climax. The one you was missing out on, here it is right here. Look how she looked. She's emotionally fulfilled. She went deep. She went in depth in herself and she just released all inhibitions. And there's nothing illegal about it with the ace in the upright. Okay, I'm telling you something real magnetic about you. <laughs> Once you got up there, that was it. That was it. So you, that's a new journey for you because it, you got the full from, you're going from the full to the world. And then whenever there's a 10, there's an ace. Opportunities. And you still keep your marriage. Because being more true to yourself, put the spark back into your marriage. And put that climax back into it. If it was ever really there. I feel like it wasn't there at first. And you going about things your own way, instead of trying to fit a bill, you make the bill fit you. Try to fit your natural rhythm, your natural aura. That's why the King of Swords is the ultimate, okay? What you're leaving in the past is that receptive energy and you take accountability for yourself and your, your knowledge and your education. You go out there and you say what you gotta say. You, can't, you are more than just managing your personal space. You can manage global success, internet frenzy, Large crowds, okay? Large crowds. So you figured it out. You figured out the recipe, how to properly manifest this, to properly like get out there. You more than just want it. You know, sitting in that receptive energy, thinking it's gonna fall in your lap, just manifesting based off your thoughts. Your thoughts do become your reality. So if you have that vision, you bring it, you take the necessary creative steps. You figure out what you need to do to get it and you start executing that plan by yourself. It works out, okay? More orange, more red. That's like Phoenix rising fire energy because it's in the cups, it's like, oh my God, I never had, I never knew love like this before. Like it feels, it's indescribable. There are no words. There are no words. I like it. And that's, and that's also an influencer. Look how eccentric she looks. She looks like herself, right? She don't look like nobody. There's only one you. Your fears is the naysayers. Everybody's going to be trashing you and talking about you and smiling in your face or trying to be your friend because they're scared to be your enemy. They're going to be talking shit over yoga. They, they're going to use the yoga class as a chance to gossip about you. Just remember... I'd be worried if they didn't say nothing. They are talking about you because you're actually doing something. 
Any more? Anything else? I think that's it. I think I summed it all up. Yeah, embarking down a new journey. That's talent. You got out of your head and start taking action. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.